Yes, dear friends. Now, today I will explain you how to find the central mass of a two-body system and uh, n particle system. I defined central mass in last video as the imaginary point where whole mass of the body or system body is supposed to be concentrated. Here in this figure, uh, uh, we have system of two body and uh, mass M1 and M2 placed at point A and B. The position vector of A, B, R1 and that B, R2. O is supposed to be central mass whose position vector with respect to original B capital R. Now, here we will take the help of Newton's second law to obtain the uh, vector R. A vector R is the position vector of O. By knowing the position vector, we can reach central mass. You will understand it easily. Nothing to worry about this, but a little application is there. Now, since system of two pi, I told you like this piece of chalk have internal force. So you have force, internal force F12 is there and F21 is there. F12 means force applied by mass M2 on F M1 and F21 <coughs> uh, force applied by mass M1 on M2. These are internal force and I told you they are equal to positive to their vector sum 0. Now, so you can write here like this, elect masses M1 and M2 are placed at points A and B whose portion vector position vectors are respectively R1 and R2. Point O sorry, point P sorry, P go to the origin Point O P lies on the line joining A and B and is supposed here is it and it is supposed to be the central mass I write this introduction here because I have noticed uh, students are unable to explain anything because they are don't get anything in writing like this so please uh, take care of uh, because in board exam at least some question come which you need to explain everything in your objective. Now here F12 and F21 are the internal forces acting on each other. Internal forces uh, internal forces applied by each other and since F12 is equal to minus F21, 
So F one two or plus F two one is equal to zero. So unbalanced force becomes zero. Now I proceed further. If let small F one and small F two be the external forces acting on M1 and M2 respectively then total force total force on the system vector f equal to f1 plus f12 plus f2 plus f21 and there some zero it is f1 plus f2 since f12 plus f21 is equal to zero so this is the unbalanced force on system if total mass system b capital m let Let uh, m1 plus m2 is equal to m. Then from Newton's second law, write equation one. From Newton's second law, we can write this equation. How? We can write it as m d to r from d t square. Equal to m1 d2 r1 upon d3 square plus m2 d2 r2 upon d3 square. Simply in the thing f equal to I told you in last video acceleration f equal to m a m a or and this is uh, dv over dt also or m d2 r on dt square because v equal to dr on dt so it is simply f equal to m a m a m a and i told you in we can write that d2 upon dt square of mr is equal to d2 upon dt square of m1 r1 plus d2 upon dt square m2 r2 we are developing the concept of central mass here using Newton's second law. There are other methods also. Mm. Or, or you can write d2 r4 dt square sorry d2 upon dt square of mr equal to d2 upon dt square of m1 r1 plus m2 r2 by derivative of some quantity on the side you could derivative was that it means and as we can say here that mr 
to equal to m1 r I will do their R lines. R. Sorry. Uh, M R two. So we can write M R for two M one R one plus M two R two. Actually, I feel difficulty in writing R this way. Or vector R equal to m R1 plus m R2 upon capital M, but capital M equal to m1 plus m2. So vector R will be m1 R1 plus m2 R2 upon m1 plus m2. This is the position vector in terms of masses of bodies and their position vector. Here you will be feeling something uh, troublesome, but think simple. When I come to further, we can generalize this equation. We can. We can generalize this situation for an particle system. As the vector R equal to M1 R1 plus M2 R2 plus M3 R3 so on to Mn Rn upon M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus so on plus Mn. Which we can write it as the vector R equal to summation M I R I upon summation M I I equal to one to N. Sometimes we don't even don't write it, and we write simply equal to summation M I R I upon Summation M I. Dimension is this side has dimension of length. So we can generalize equation two for an particle system. But still, you are in confusion with very center mass. If we know the coordinates of any point, then we can read that point or not. It becomes simple to locate the point if we know. Coordinate of central mass. So now I come to coordinates of central mass. Coordinates of central mass. Okay. Let x1, y1. And x two y two comma x one y one x two y two and x y be the coordinates of point A, B, and P respectively. Coordinate of A means coordinate of center of mass M1 B X1 Y1 X2 Y2 and B X Y. Then I have explained why teaching vector. 
if I cap, J cap are the unit vector you have you know, then vector R1 will be x i cap, x1 i cap plus y1 j cap. Vector R2, sorry, I'm sorry. Vector R2 will be x2 i cap plus y2 j cap. You very well know i cap, j cap, k cap are grid vector along x, y, z axis. And vector R equal to x i cap plus y j cap. Now putting these values in equation 2. What was equation 2? Vector R equal to m1 R1 plus m2 R2 upon m1 plus m2. I put these value of R1 R2. So x i cap plus y j cap. Putting the value in equation 2, you can write here. Equal to m1 x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus m2 x2 i cap plus y2 j cap upon m1 plus m2. Or we can write z x i cap plus y j cap is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 i cap actually i cap here and here plus m1 y1 plus m2 y2 j cap upon m1 plus m2 this equation can also be written as x i cap plus y j cap equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 upon m1 plus m2 i cap plus m1 y1 plus m2 y2 upon m1 plus m2 j cap and now our problem is just coming to end what is that comparing the coefficient of i cap and j cap comparing the coefficients of i cap and j cap we get x equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 upon m1 plus m2 y equal to m1 y1 plus m2 y2 upon m1 plus m2 these two equations now tell the coordinates of point P here still you may be uh, thinking that where is the central mass that you will get after doing some problem easily we can then write these two equations for an particle system as what I said you we can generalize these two equations for x, y for n particle system in three dimension. That is, we can generalize these equations for n particle system. in uh, three dimensions as coming x equal to summation m i x i 
Thank you.